Roto-Grinders, in case you missed it during quarantine, the development team at Roto-Grinders has been hard at work implementing a bunch of new features, some of which you may have actually suggested to us. So I'm going to go into all of these new features that we've implemented and, you know, how they all work in Lineup HQ. We're going to start off with player groups. We have a new feature, Group Max Exposure Percentage. It works just like the individual max exposures do. If I set this, you know, by default, all the groups are 100%, and I build my lineups, I'm getting 100% of Ryan Newman and Kevin Harrick together. If I go in here and bump this down to 50%, I ended up with 60% of Newman and 80% of Harvick. The groups themselves will be able to have different exposures than the individuals. The individual can have a higher exposure than the group because if we're outside of the scope of this group, it's possible for you to have Harvick in a different group or Newman in a different group or have a higher percentage exposure to him. The individual constraints will still try to be met, so whatever you set them to, if you lock in a player, you're going to see him in 100% of your lineups. And then the group exposures will try to be met after that. So keep that in mind when you're creating these. It should also work with the conditional players, but again, the more settings that you have, the more complex and complicated it's all going to get with how they all behave at the same time. Let's move on to editable projected ownership. Any sport that has projected ownership now has the ability to be edited. So I can add my own amounts in here. And they will get saved and bolded just like if you change somebody's fantasy points projection. You can edit right within the player pool manually, or you can go into the projections and upload custom projections and change this field, just like you can change the fantasy points and the exposure values within the projections template. Another thing is some late swap functionality. I have my MMA lineups here. I'm going to upload these. We have a new search bar, so I can search for my Devon Clark lineup, and it will bring that to the top here. I can also use the count field over here to click on things and find them. So for example, I can do the same thing to pull him up to the top. And when I rebuild my lineups, I'm going to get the same thing as before, a new CSV built off of my current CSV. But just keep in mind that we have late swap for all sports on FanDuel and DraftKings. You can rebuild lineups even before the slate starts. So if I have a whole bunch of lineups set up for DraftKings, MMA is not a late swap sport. I can still come in here, upload my CSV, and get new lineups before the start of the fights. Just keep in mind that this works no matter whether it's a slate lock or just a game lock for an individual player. When a game is locked, you will still see the same red icon here of lock button, but this is a good feature for MME, and I think that more people are probably going to start taking advantage of that. In KBO, we have stacking. It works just like in MLB. We have the same things on DraftKings where you can set quick stack percentages here. You can set your team exposures, a primary stack and a secondary stack. So in this case, if I build four or three lineups, I'm going to have lot on 100%, four hitters from that team in every lineup. And here they are. Similar thing over on FanDuel. We just have fewer stacking options because the lineup over there, the rosters themselves have fewer slots for hitters. So you can have 4-2, 4-X, 3-3, and 3-2 stacks available on FanDuel. On to the next feature, we have notes. This is a premium only column. You can add notes for any player on the slate. So when you add a note, you will see this change to a white pencil with a blue border around it. I can click on it again to edit my note. I can also clear out a note and save that. Add a new note for whatever player I want. Just note that after I have saved that, it will only be for this slate. So I will not carry over to a different site. You'd have to add a different note in that case. But this data will be saved just like your fantasy points and anything else so that if you're on an NFL slate and it's 
doesn't lock for another week, you'll be able to see that note all the way throughout the week, just like you will, and you'll be able to go back in time and see your notes from past slates. All right, a big feature for NBA, NFL, and MLB is linking our player profile pop-ups to our IQ products, Gridiron IQ for football, Plate IQ for MLB, and Court IQ for NBA. So when I look at Luca's game log here, the dates of his past games played now have links in them. When I click on one of these, I can look at his past recent performance, and it takes me right to the matchup in Court IQ. So I can find here his minutes played, exactly who he was on the court with, the fantasy points he put up during those times, all of that information in the box score format here. So it links directly to the IQ product, which is really handy. This also works from our Roto Grinders lineups page. And we also have some esports additions. We have team player groups, we have opponent player groups for League of Legends and for CSGO. So opponent player groups is with a click of a button, I can create all of these opponent groups. So none of my lineups will have players from Try and 100T because they're playing against each other and I now have these opponent groups. Team player groups is for the captain slots. For any captain in my current player pool, I now have a mini team stack. By default, it's set up to include one or two teammates of the captain but you could change it for individual captains or for certain teams or for every single one of these groups if you apply this rule to all of your team groups. So in the click of just a couple of buttons here, I can make all of these groups and then build out some correlated lineups. It was just that simple. I would suggest narrowing down the player pool before you make these groups and create these lineups, but it's made it a lot simpler to get correlated lineups really with the click of one or two buttons. So these are the big, the big changes that we've made recently in Lineup HQ. We'll be adding more stuff soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Keep sending me your suggestions and thanks for watching.